Before we dive into looking at what a normal random variable is, I want to make certain that you know what the definition of any random variable is. You've used random variables last year in year 12, an example being the binomial random variable, uh, but we're going to get dead certain here as to what the definition of any random variable is. Firstly, we need to be certain about what the definition of a variable is. Now, you've been using variables for a long time now. A variable is any symbol that represents a quantity that can change, that can vary. So in real life, that could be time, uh, which counts up from zero. It could be the volume of uh, water going into a bath, quite an angular bath in this case. Um, it could be any, any quantity that can change. As mathematicians, we're not confined to the real world like all these other chumps are, and we often use variables that don't really have an interpretation. We can just say that x is my variable, and it can take on any real number, and I can tell it what it is. So, if x is 3, ha ha ha, x is now 7, x is 6.5, and this variable is changing depending on what we do. Often when we've got an x, we have its partner y, these two being linked by some equation. Let's use a simple one, y equals x squared. Oh, I've set myself up here, haven't I? Um, and as we're telling the variable x what to do, y is doing other things. For this one here, oh, I'll use a tool, I think. We can have a look at these variables on desi and have even more control about what they are and i can be like ha 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 x you're gonna be 6.5 all the way up there oh my god x is gonna be 6.5 and it'll tell me what y is maybe you can see uh, oh 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 42.6 points something 42 point something there we go there um importantly these two can take on lots of different values depending on how we define them now how is a random variable different i've got some random variables over here underneath here now whereas we had control over x and in a way control over y as well we don't have as much control over a random variable i imagine a random variable like some sort of little gremlin behind a door that's spitting out numbers and we're not sure what those numbers are until they come so here x this random variable oh it's nine first and then oh now it's eight now it's eight again oh interesting now it's six now it's eight again would I call that interesting? Maybe. I don't know. Now it's seven. This variable, unlike the x we used before, we can't choose what it is. But we can study this randomness and spot sort of patterns in it. Or we can define our random variable to have these patterns. So the next random variable that I've got is y. And this is the notation that I've used to define it. I've said y twiddles you and then open breath open the curly brackets one two three four five six see if you can figure out as it spits out these random numbers how this is defined so y is going to be four and then one six uh two one four six uh five and now it's three now it's three um uh, maybe you can guess, maybe you can guess since these were in the shop before as well, that these numbers are popping up uniformly. This here is a uniform random variable on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, otherwise known as a death roll. A uniform random variable is one of the simplest and neatest random variables that we can get. I'm going to show you what we're going to be studying next. I'm going to find z here as a normal random variable and let's see what z spits out let's see what z spits out um the first number is going to be no oh, 
negative 0 0.84 that's a bit great i suppose 84 is quite a nice number um zero point negative 0 0.68 again maybe they're all going to be negative 1.65 now z is the suspense negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.17 0 0.02 not quite sure what's going on yet z being a random variable is still spitting out random numbers and believe it or not these numbers here do have a pattern i've gotten them from an actual normal random variable generator on the internet that's the sort of internet sites i like um, you'll notice that the decimal numbers these have actually all been rounded as well normal dis normal random variables are examples of continuous random variables so that they can take any number on the number line it's like continuous and discrete data at gtse x and y being discrete can only take particular values. To sum up, a variable is a value that can change. A random variable is a value that changes without our control, but we can still spot patterns in it. And over the next few lessons, we'll be spotting, uh, or I'll, just, I'll be telling you, the patterns in normal random variables like this one here.